This story is entitled, Gru Goes to Walmart. In this story, Gru sends his minions to Walmart, but instead they fool around the whole time. So instead, Gru takes it upon himself to go to Walmart and finds himself at a very different Walmart. And by the way, Gru doesn't know what Walmart is. All those minions! I can never understand them! I ask them to do me a little favor by going grocery shopping for my girls, and instead they go around and fool around downstairs. Ugh, I can never understand them. However, I am very excited to do them a favor, even my girls, even though I hate those minions sometimes. But they are very faithful to me. About five minutes later, Gru walks in front of a giant store. He says, Walmart Super Center. That sounds very exciting. I must go inside and check it out. I wonder what is this inside. It's got to be a grocery store, I hope. Gru walked inside, and he never saw such a sight. Oh my, it is enormous. But what is the produce? I can't exactly keep giving my girls on healthy food all the time. Would be a really bad father, but to them, I wouldn't be at first. Ah, uh, produce. Except I don't even know what I'm looking for. Maybe some woman might be able to help me. Well, Gru walked over to the produce area and found a woman shopping with her children. Oh, excuse me, Mom, but could you help me? Find some produce for my girls. I want them to have good nutrition so that they can grow up to be a good, healthy woman. Now why would I help you with a thing like that? You seem like you know what you're doing. You're a grown man. Why don't you just go pick on someone else? Jeez. I'm sorry about that, Mom. I was just wanting some help. Ugh. I can't trust anybody these days. People are weird. About ten minutes later, Gru finally found some good vegetables and fruits for his girls. And then he decided that he wants some soda for them, too. Well, girls do need something to drink, and I know how much they and I myself love soda. I'm going to go find some for them. So Gru walked down the soda aisle. But of course he didn't know um, what kind of soda to look for. Oh dear. What kind of soda should I look for? Oh, that's a good man. He looks like he knows everything about soda, especially because he's very thorough about what he's looking for. Excuse me, sir. Do you know anything about soda I can give for my girls? <laughs> Sorry, dude, but you look like you're old enough to Take care of this yourself. Hey, why don't you go ask someone else, you know? I mean, I love being helpful, but to someone who already knows what he's they're doing, I'm sorry. I'm out of here. Peace out, dude. Man, what am I supposed to do? I can't get to anybody. Ah, oh, caramba. Why do I even say that? I'm Gru. Gru doesn't say that. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, I'll just get Rupia and Mountain Dew, whatever those are. Even though I love soda, I've never heard of Rupia and Mountain Dew. Go figure, right? Then Gru eventually made his way around the store until he came to the breakfast area. Girls have to have more than cereal, you know. They must have waffles. Oh, there's someone who looks like they can help me. Excuse me, sir. Do you know what the special or the best kind of waffles? The waffle mix, you know, that I can give to my girls. You know what, dude? I love waffles. And I would love to help you out. Let me just tell you all about waffles. There's Cracker Barrel. There's Perkins. There's I have the sir. I just need a special type of waffle mix from this aisle. Do you know any? Oh, of course I do. I mean, 
what do you think I am? I'm a waffle genius, and I know everything about the store. I go here all the time, and you should see all the stuff I can get away with. I'm constantly shoplifting. I would love to teach you every single trick and trait I know. And you know what's funny? They haven't even kicked me out once, and I am wanted all over the, the United States, every single state. But I tell you, I would be lo would love to help you. Just name exactly what waffle mix you're looking for, and I will help you find it. You know what, Saul? I changed my mind. I think I'll go look for someone else, you know? You're just a little bit unusual for my taste. Oh, if you say so. I mean, uh, it's just what I do, you know? I just like to help out people, but I like to do it my way. That's all. Oh, Kassa, if you say so. Jeez. I wouldn't want to get help from a what a person. I'm supposed to be good. I'm not no longer bad guru. I am good guru. Ha ha. But, man, I just gotta find something. So finally Gru found some waffle mix. On his way out, he made a stop at the cash register to pay for his stuff. Now let me see here. What should I get to drink? Ah, uh, here's something good. Coke. Oh, that's, I like that sound. Oh, it says, share a Coke with Bob. There's no Coke. Share a Coke with Guru? <laughs> eh, dude. I'm sorry, but there is no share a Coke with Guru. I know that you're disappointed by that, but totally. That is like the most lamest name ever. Just saying. And what sort of gives you the right to say that to my face? I mean, jeez. I'm just sopping for my girls, and I just want something to drink. You got a problem? No, I don't have a problem. I'm just a weirdo. Some people call me hippie, but I don't really think I'm a hippie. I just got weird problems. You could even call me emo if you want. I don't care. Well, I hope you have a great day, sir. And it was good to meet you. Yeah, I guess it was good to meet you, too. I mean, I guess. Like I said before. I mean, I'd rather hang out with my own kind. Your own kind? Are you prejudiced or something? I don't know. Ugh, it doesn't matter. I'm done with my feet at this place. I'm getting out of here. So Gru came up to the register and paid for his stuff. Alright, honey, it's going to be $50.60. Is that alright? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let me just find out my debit card. Ah, oh, here it is. Ah, oh, that smell. You're holding up the line, honey. Come on, let's keep it going. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Sw slide. Will that be debit or credit? Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, I guess debit. <laughs> I don't even remember my PIN number. Then uh, let me just cancel the transaction. You can slide the card again. And run as a credit. Is that okay, honey? Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, sorry about that. It just, you know, can't keep the line going. That's all. Uh, I understand. And finally, Gru made it home. Girls, it's so good to see you. Gru, you're home. I tell you, I had the weirdest trip today to Walmart. Walmart? What's Walmart? I don't know. I don't even know how to cut that. It's weird, you know. But I ran into a lot of weird characters, you know. And let me tell you this. There is no one more special than my little girls that I love to spend time with every day. Reading to and kissing goodnight and hugging. That, of course, my jelly business. And of course you can't forget my minions. Oh, 
my life is just perfect here. And that is Gru's story about how he finally found a Walmart. It is an unusual tale there.